So today I'm working on a track for another artist. He's in the alternative realm, but he sort of has the feel of like being like an emo trap artist. So I'm just gonna do my thing and write whatever comes out, but I'm gonna try to stay away from anything like pop punk or too like punk rock, but I do want it to be rock. I want it to sound big. I want it to sound real and emotional. So I don't know, let's see what we can come up with. Got my headphones for my small IQ brain. Let's go for a nice clean guitar intro. <laughs> Maybe we'll do like a minor sounding track this time. That's sick. Um, I have my like go-to chords that I usually like dance around and add like little twinkly stuff in between it. Um, but that riff is sick. That's nice. Here's how you remember tuning. Eat a dick. Good boy. Ew! A little less wave in there. I got amplitude running. Let me take this chorus pedal off. It's not even on, but I just want to save CPU um, into an orange amp, and it's pretty low gain, but it is going through an amp. And I'm running it through this Comeback Kid plugin. I just have the filter going to a lo fi slap so you can hear it. Cleaning up the lows, cleaning up the highs, and then probably just adding some highs through the SSL EQ. Somebody asked me the other day why I don't just do all my EQing through Pro Q. Honestly, I just think of Pro Q as like the corrective EQ because you can see the waveforms, and that kind of messes with your brain a little bit as you're looking at it, and it's like, oh, I see something spiking on the low end. Maybe I should bring that down, even if you didn't really hear it. You're not supposed to mix with your eyes, but I know what I'm looking for, and I know what I'm trying to listen for when I'm mixing. So I like to use Pro-Q also because you can solo out certain frequencies as you're adjusting it. So it's great for corrective EQ and getting things to sound right and in their place. But when I want to add flavor and I want to actually add the top end or the low end to something, I'm going to use like an SSL EQ because that way I can really just mix with my ears and mix to taste. And also I like to think of it as if there's an SSL channel strip in front of me and I'm really doing the mixing as if I got sent these tracks on the final mixer, if that makes sense. I'm doing all my corrective stuff and then I do all the flavor stuff on the actual SSL console. One, two, do it good. Give it a little bit more grit too. We're gonna do 6.9 because that is the best number. Now, here's a question. Do we use an amp sim? Do we use the big muff? All right, so we got that main riff, added in this guitar and glitched it out a bunch. Then I want to add in this sort of low rumbly thing. I want to find a good sound though. That's sick. That's really cool. You yeah, think it's funny. I'm slamming the door. So these are just going to be demo vocals because he'll probably have his own vocals that he's going to use, but I just want to give him something so that he can hear like potentially what could happen. So I'm going to try to write something emotional. Maybe we'll write about like running into somebody who thinks that you're a loser for doing music or something and you're not a millionaire. I don't know. Let's just see what flows out. And you all think it's funny when you slam in the door because I feel so ignored. Cause I feel so ignored. Yeah, I wish I was lovely. I wish I was adored. Dude, spitting. Yeah, I wish I was lovely. And I wish I was adored. Cause I feel so ignored. I wish I was lovely. lovely. I wish I was lovely. Adored, Cause I feel so ignored feel... Yo, does anybody else have to chew gum when they're writing or working on songs so that they don't grind their teeth down to the bone? Cause I do! To me this is like pseudo chorus. Maybe there will be like a post chorus later that's more of a catchier chorus, but I think that this would be cool for this part. And I 
wish I was a door and a door Alright, getting a phone call. Jake Langley from Handguns. What up, buddy? What's up, dude? Sorry I haven't answered. I've been freaking grinding it out. I know. Can you hear me? Yeah, what's up? Does, does it sound muffled or weird? I dropped my phone in the deep fryer. <laughs> so I wanted to call somebody that actually like knows audio. Does it sound fucked up? No, it sounds good. All right, cool. I jammed it. I didn't have rice, so I jammed it in a bunch of macaroni, and apparently that works. Yeah, that works. Yeah. It sounds crispy, man. Nice. Sounds like <laughs> a macaroni microphone. Hey, I'll call you back later. I'm getting a call for a customer. I'm at the restaurant. All right, man. I'll catch you. Love you, buddy. Bye. See you. The door and the door. Getting old. Yeah, yeah. Get up there. Getting old. That needs to be like a roomy vocal, so I'm gonna go in the room. Sounds like I'm in the bathroom. Let me in. I need to shit. And somebody was screaming like that in the bathroom. Okay, I kind of hate that fucking pad that's going on. Let's find a better one. I hate that. I hate that. That's fine. That's that's not it. That's not it. Sick. Bum 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 bum. Okay, here we go. It needs to be half as long. So let me fix that. Sit. I mean, it sounds like a low rider. Mini video camera. That's not it. The cell phone sounds cool. Okay, we need a sick ass like edited guitar on top of that to really make it modern. We'll go. And then here's a trick I have. Um, what I do is I grab it and I set up a command key to do control option command E and it splits it at all the transients. And then what you can do is you can just lock it to grid by quantizing it. We're gonna set it to eighths and then bonk. Now it's perfectly on time. And then what you can do is if you copy it and you switch it to ticks instead of samples, it should be the right tempo. And there it is. And then since it loops, I can grab that second half, move it to the first half, and then the other side, and we have a double. pretty sick it needs to be edited more though it goes back and forth from left to right it'll be like a cool little like glitchy sounding thing Let's see if that's right yeah very cool i'm gonna chuck the uh punk bass on my 808 sample that i already have set on my template here all right wish me luck i'm always so bad at these pads Okay, I'm gonna add in trap hats. I hate trap hats, but I think it actually is calling for it this time. I feel like it's a little bit video gamey sounding, so I don't know, I kinda wanna mess with it a little bit more to see if we can make it a little darker. Something like that. And I feel like giving up. Burning out, burning out. And I feel like giving up. 
Cause no one really gives a fuck, let's just say that. this new age of music because it's like you can do whatever you want and it sort of all works together as long as you keep it to the same three four elements i don't know i hope i get known as the producer that just makes weird like wacky genre mixing stuff i know that this isn't super super groundbreaking but i feel like i'm starting to hone it in pretty good i started talking to some new artists too today that i'm really stoked on they're some of the biggest artists i've ever worked with i just hope i really build my own lane here and do my own thing all right man i think that that's a killer track it's just a song starter so it doesn't have all the transitions and it doesn't have like different verses and different courses and it doesn't have a bridge but this is something I can send to the artist and see if he likes it see if this is on the right path and we can really work out all the details together and build something that's more unique to him and something that would be perfect for him to throw on his record so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that video I'm gonna let it play all the way through and I'll see you guys next time peace yeah you all think it's funny cause I feel so ignored yeah I wish I was lovely and I wish I was adored And it's all